Thank you for visiting our channel. Today's topic will be considered controversial by some. However, we stand by what is right. We believe all should have equal opportunities and rights, regardless of race, skin color, gender, or sexual orientation. My name is Trafford Busutil, co-founder of Porticon Bridge, where we help high net worth and ultra high net worth individuals like yourselves achieve travel and financial freedom by becoming global citizens. Let's jump straight into today's topic. A part of our society does not enjoy the same freedom to live their life according to their sexuality. Unbelievable, but true. Before I forget, if you like our efforts, we would appreciate if you'd help us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons. Some governments do not allow gay and lesbian people to enjoy the right to express their sexual orientation freely. It's still taboo in many societies. Let us not forget that till a few decades back, in many Western countries, it was illegal to be homosexual, and it is still in a handful of countries. Let alone recognize that the LGBT community have the right to marry or live in civil union with all the legal rights given to a heterosexual couple. These non-conformists, as traditionalists will call them, are meant to suppress their emotions and follow the mainstream narrative. This view, or may I call it attitude, causes unparalleled hardship to fellow human beings by primarily not enjoying the right to enter a civil union relationship, let alone marriage, with the consequences that two people living and loving each other as a couple for a lifetime do not have inheritance or pension rights to the surviving partner, nor other rights such as adoption, etc. This is not the case in Malta and Portugal. These two European Union countries are global pioneers and offer unparalleled civil liberties to same-sex couples. Both countries allow same-sex marriage or civil union relationships with all the legal rights included but not limited to inheritance and pension rights to the surviving partner. In the eyes of the law, there is equality between a heterosexual or a homosexual couple. Malta and Portugal are part of a handful of countries to ban discrimination based on sexual orientation. However, Malta has gone one step further to making LGBT rights equal at a constitutional level. Now, let us turn a bit to adoption rights. Maltese law grants this right to married couples, including same-sex marriages, civil partnerships, and single persons, including single LGBT individuals. This is what I call an open and free society. However, there is light at the end of the tunnel for those who unfortunately do not have these rights. Both Malta and Portugal offer residency programs to third country nationals. Once you gain residency, you have the right to enter a civil union or marriage with the same legal protection granted to a heterosexual couple. If you want to discuss this topic further, leave us a comment below and start your journey to become a global citizen. Thank you.